this is essentially Machiavelli Talks Episode 1, right? I told you guys how I want to talk to you guys more, talk about stuff. I think this is going to fall into relationship advice, right? Now, I originally did those videos like three, four years ago. I was young. So this is more mature than Marcus, who's been through a lot more, much more experience. But I'm also going to explain in this video how much I've grown and how much I've actually just healed. And it's not even like literally just in like one week, right? But a lot has changed and a lot has happened. So that's why I'm going to be explaining in this video. I had to, you know, get some notes and all that and basically screenshot some stuff so that I can share that with you guys. But if you enjoy, let me know. Do all that. You guys have been showing a lot of support. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thank you. And, uh, yeah, this is essentially, like, Machiavelli talks slash, like, relationship advice because I'm going to be talking about relationship stuff. But, yeah, <clears throat> just let me know. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you experienced some of this or you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, yeah, we're just going to dive right in. So, here's what it says. It says, and I'll put all this on the screen so you guys can see. It says, even if you do find someone who happens to be wonderful, it won't change how you feel about yourself. You won't magically feel prettier or better at your job. Because you have a significant other low self esteem doesn't go away just because you change your relationship status on Facebook. We're gonna get into that, right? Because I have an example for all of this. Don't get me wrong; you deserve someone who wants to be, wants to tend your happiness intentionally and consistently. But feeling good when you're with your partner and depending on your partner very important to hear y'all. To feel good are two separate things. Feeling happy in your relationship means you're. Sharing love while depending on your relationship for happiness. Meaning that you're putting all your love and all that and depending on all your happiness on one person. And that's bad. That means that you need to work on your mental health because there's something that's bothering you and you haven't healed from that situation. I know from experience, right? Because people ask me, how have you healed? <clears throat> How'd you get over this? All that. I'm going to explain all of that, guys. No one person can provide everything you need to be happy. Expecting them might result in pressure. Very important to know. Controlling behavior jealousy insecurity i've been through all of that so i know i can only think of two situations i've been in where all that happened love should bring happiness but your mental health shouldn't depend on it seeking mutual support and love in your relationship instead of dependency will free your partner of unfair responsibility and toxic pressure the very the very beginning of this is very important i'm gonna actually reread it it says no one person can provide everything you need to be happy. Meaning that I can't give everything to somebody just to make them happy. Or she can't give everything to me to make me happy. I have to already, you know. And it also says expecting them might result in pressure, controlling behavior. So a lot of us have been in relationships or just situations where all that happened. You know, so <clears throat> attempt to fill void, certain void. That's extremely important. We're going to get into that too. Distract ourselves from our difficult emotions, meaning that you're distracting yourself from something else that's going on in your life that you don't want to address or whatever. If you're dating because you're lonely, the relationship will not make you feel any more whole and could even make it feel worse. Very important. Here's the truth. Loneliness and unhappiness do not go away with distraction. And a relationship is not the solution to fix problems you've had in the past. Wow. The right partner will not be your happily ever after they will simply be your plus one to already happy life. Meaning, they're just your replacement or your temporary happiness, right? I don't even need to look at this anymore because I already know what I'm going to say, right? There's certain people, and I'm not just, you know, throwing anyone on the bus because I've done it too, right? You have, you're hurt from something or you're trying to fill that certain void as it just says right here. So you get into a relationship or you do something else just to try to f fill that void so you won't think about it no more or whatever. And it winds up being worse. As it just says, it says it could even make you feel worse or it can get worse. <clears throat> so basically, uh, what happened to me last year was that some I found out a lot, you know. I was told a lot of information, right? And basically, you know, some of the stuff I already knew. But then hearing, hearing all this all at once made me feel a whole different type of way. Meaning that, you know, I think I had whatever I had going on, my own situation going on at the time. But then finding out that, you know... All this stuff, like, all at once just threw me off. It gave me a whole mix of emotions, so I had a lot of time to think about it. I had, like, two weeks to think about it, and then I made, like, five different songs in that same week because <clears throat> there was so much to talk about, right? That whole EP you guys heard last year, all that. Because of this whole situation, it was like, if you hear that, you know, all this stuff, you hear that, you know, this person probably still likes you or still listens to your music, but yet did all this, you're going to be, you, that's like mixed emotions. You're going to think like, man, what did, what did I even do? Or you're going to be like, man, like, I thought me and this person was done, you know? 
it's just so many emotions and i never got to heal from that because hearing all that just made me feel a certain way and hurt in a lot of ways and i realized something for the past year i've been hurt over that one situation that was the one thing that was keep bringing me down and that was the one thing that was holding me up like I had to realize that I was over this situation, over this situation, but that was the one thing that was still affecting me because, you know, there was never no real closure and there was never no real, you know, so I had to get that myself, right? And it took a whole year just for me to finally wake up and just say, I don't know why I'm still hating on this person. You know, they did what they did and whatever happened, happened. We only knew each other this alone, but at the same time, I just have to find it in my heart to forgive them. And y'all might say, the market that's hard because this person hurt me, right? And you're right. But you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, you know what? It's over. Like, I don't care anymore. And it's not about you still being attached to that person or anything. Trust me. Because that's what some of you guys might think. And trust me, that's not what's going on. That's what your mind is trying to trick you to think. It's not that. It's that you haven't found closure yet and you haven't healed from it. When you wake up, you're going to wake up one day and be like, I don't want to hate this person no more. I don't want to do it. That doesn't mean that you have to get back together with them or you even have to get back in a relationship with them. And this can go for anyone. This can be a friend, anyone else, right? You're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, I don't really hate this person no more. I don't want to, you know, fight with them anymore. Any of that type of stuff. So when that day happens, I'm happy. And that's going to be the greatest day of your life because you're, it's going to it's gonna take a lot of stress from you. It's going to, like, feel relieving, right? So I had this feeling like three, four days ago and I woke up and I was like, wow, I don't even hate this person anymore or any of that, right? So, yeah. We had to make a quick stop. You know, I never go to Starbucks. Ever. Like, ever, right? But anyway, back to what the topic is at hand. Basically, you know, some people just rush into relationships. Or they just, you know, get into relationships and all that because they're they're lonely. They got, they're trying to fill that void, right? This is bad comparison or analogy because they're celebrities and entertainment and all that. But, like, you look at the Kim and Pete situation, right? She had just broken up with Kanye after, like, six years. And then you see her get into another relationship, like, a soon after and only lasted a couple months. You know, you see how that happens because she, you know, she got into another relationship. She wasn't ready, right? And she even told that in the in her damn, uh, in her, uh, her episode or whatever. Like, she was just going through something, right? So, with the situation that happened to me last year, it only took me a year to get over, which will be like today, right? It's been like a whole year since I found out all that, and it threw me out of the loop for a whole year. So I was dissing her. I was going at her at like every song, and I'm like, man, I need to stop. Like, I have all this hate toward this person. Even though they may have done bad things to me and other people, like, I got to find it in my heart to just forgive them and just move on, you know, give myself closure. So that's what I did. And, uh, yeah, it feels great, right? So and no, another part of that was like, you guys haven't seen me really date for almost three years now is because you got to heal from that stuff before you get into another relationship. You can't just rush into a relationship and then, you know, you got to heal first because if you're not healed, you're going to hurt that person that you're dating, right? So I know multiple people, won't say names, that's in relationships right now and they're not happy or they're still hurting from stuff. And you're just going to hurt that person and yourself. Like the things has going to be worse at the end. So it just doesn't make sense, but people are lonely. People, you know, they feel like they depend on relationships way too much. They're too dependable and dependent on a relationship when you should be more focused on making yourself happy and your goals and ambitions and stuff, ambitions that you're trying to strive for and all that, right? And you guys might be asking number one question to Mars. How did you finally wake up and you don't have no more hate towards, you know, that girl, right? <laughs> Still haven't said her name yet, but... <laughs> And I said, you're literally just going to wake up and you're going to feel it. You're going to be like, wow, it's part of maturing, waking up and just growing up. You're going to wake up and you're going to understand, right? Because you'll be like, I don't have no hate towards this person no more, all that. So the whole point of this whole video is like, bro, do not get into a relationship just to think that that's going to make you happy. A relationship will not make you happy. If that's what you think, you're going to be, a relationship comes with a lot of emotional stuff. A lot of attachment, all that stuff. You're just, you're causing more havoc to a situation that's already bad, right? Which is why I've been single for three years and it's been great. It's been healing. It's been, you know, a lot of learning, a lot of reflecting, a lot of, you know, a lot of working on myself. And that's great. So that when I do meet that girl or I do get in a relationship, it'll be the best relationship ever because I'll be so healed and matured and all that, that I can give that girl all of me. And I won't, I wouldn't have been able to do that last year or because you hurt from those things. So if you're watching this and you know who you are, if you're in that relationship and you know, man, this relationship is toxic. We arguing, we doing all this. Do it for yourself and do it for that person to just let go. 
Because what you're scared of is letting go. Because somebody let go of you. And you don't want to be letting go of somebody else, right? Guess what? You shouldn't be in that relationship then. If you have that thought. Just put y'all in game. Yeah, man. Just my two cents. You know, I love, I'm love. i going to love doing this because I'm giving you guys the truth. I can give you guys examples. I've been through all this. So who can tell you best than someone who's been through it? But yeah. This is episode one. AKA like a relationship advice. All that, you know, I'm a relationship counselor. I'm, I'm your consultant. You come to me for all your problems. No, but for real. You know, you might say the work is free. No, why don't you apply this to your own, you know? I will, trust me. When I do find that right girl or when I do, because I'm ready. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm ready now because I've let go of all that baggage. I've let go of that hurt that I had from a lot of people, you know, because you're going to be hurt, right? I'm, no, I'm a human, so all that shit that happened last year was going to hurt me, right? I'm human. I'm not a robot. So, you know, even if you only dated a girl for a couple months, it's still going to hurt because you're human. You had some type of attachment to that person at some point. So it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt anybody, right? Unless you're literally Kawhi Leonard and a robot, right? Anyway, no basketball talk, right? If you guys enjoy it, you can relate or you know you're in that situation again. Just let go. It's, it's going to be hard, but you have to do it at some point in order to heal. You have to start at some point. You don't want to start 30 years down the line, and then that's when cheating comes and all that. See, people cheat because, and I don't condone cheat. I'm just saying. I'm just telling you, you guys the truth. That's why people do it. They don't want to heal. People don't want to heal, and people don't want to communicate. Those are two reasons why people cheat. But anyway, that's the whole pur purpose of this whole video, right? Heal before you get into a relationship. A relationship will not make you happy. I, once again, a relationship will never make you happy. If you're getting into a relationship because you're lonely or because you want to feel that view, you're going to be heavily disappointed. Someone's going to see that and they're going to take advantage of you. They're going to say, wow, this person is still hurt from their last relationship. They're still bringing up the ex. Now, teach them a lesson, right? It might not make sense. You might be like, damn, why they break? They teach you a lesson, bro. You need to heal first before you get into a relationship, bro. That's, the, that's another thing, right? But yeah. This is my two cents, you know, Machiavelli talks. You know, if you enjoy it, let me know. Give y'all another relationship advice and let y'all know something else, you know. Maybe I do a video about, like, communication or something like that, you know. Your boy knows best, but, uh, mom bad.